The plan's simple, become the first to drive Argentina to Alaska in a tuk-tuk. I'm Ryan, an ambitious Australian looking for some adventure. It's been a year now since adopting Paddy as a first-time dog owner, and so far, we've tackled buying a marketplace bucket of bolts in Bolivia, faced a multi-day border blockade, endured emergency highway protests in North Argentina, and got split up from each other after Chile denied my dog's entry. In the last episode, Paddy, Tori, and I left Chile, and today we begin our first ever travels in the Patagonias of Argentina, where winter quickly approaches and we apparently need to get to rapidly moving south to start our official route north to Alaska. But this is easier said than done when we arrive to a bank moments after it closed and we're stuck an entire weekend without any money to our name. This is the three wheel dream. Oh my goodness, hey Patty. Oh my goodness. I was like, what's this weird formation on the tent? No way. Free party. And just look at that. The view from within a sleeping bag. <laughs> well, at least we know we can tent camp in the in the ice now. But yeah, we were really warm. I don't know if Patty's gone. Oh, there she comes. Hola, on the trot. Hola, do you want to come? Hola, can this for you? Smack on eight. I'm gonna um, pack up. Maybe shower, probably shower, should shower. And then head to Bariloche. What the heck? It's gonna be epic. I didn't even see Tori. The tuk tuk's frozen over, Patti. Melting a little bit, but. How good. Time for a drone. What a sight, hey, just even crystal clear river rapids. I guess the views start now, eh? We've already been getting incredible views, but mountain views of Patagonia kind of start today. What you found, Putty? What you looking for? It's really cool. I stand here in front of this lake with snow-capped mountains in the back knowing yesterday I said I'd swim I might swim tomorrow not mentioning I'd swim this morning because I woke up and I'm like nah yeah it's gonna be something you can already see it's like an aggressive cold look at the wave gee, gee whiz It's gonna be worth it though, eh? Surely, they said. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gosh, golly damn it. Time to find Patty. Just walking away. I remember seeing something like, you need to be in control of your mind and sometimes just jumping into a frozen lake like that. Yeah. Keeps me on my toes, keeps me showing me who's managing this, this thing. Nonetheless, it wasn't, I wasn't in there for long so it's like, I'm already warming up. Um, yeah, it is what it is. All right, we're about to get on the road. That's some sure way to start a morning. Ooh! <laughs> Yo! The 
That's us. Back on road. How we like it. What a day, what a day. It's a cheeky, crispy Saturday. Woo! Saturday, buddy, Lochi. I also forgot to mention, I've, I think Barry Lodge is pretty known for its chocolate. So I'm absolutely gonna dig in. Oh wow, eh? I don't know, I think I'm just on a vibe. You know, mate, he's loving it. <laughs> How freaking good. You right, Patin? She has these little moments of first five minutes of a drive, she's a bit How's it doing? But then, then she, she chills out. Buddy Lodge, baby! Left is north, right is south, and look how just the scenery's changed up. Appreciate you, my brother. Off we go. As windy as it is, it's a dream. What is that? What is that? That's insanity, man. I'm gonna let you out, Paddy. Wow, man. That's, that's cooked. That's, that looks too good, man. That's a dream. Panaderia, which is a bakery. It's almost like I stop often um, in these videos for a bakery stop. This is like I'm buying lunch, so facturas, which is like deliciousness, and six half a dozen empanadas. Hot water, we're gonna have mate and eat that. You wanna take care of these, buddy? I think it might be safer on the floor. So there's a lot of wind happening. Um, my chub was blowing everywhere. The, these are like the leaves of the, the mate. So we got mate, the six empanadas, and then the dessert. I've got like two chicken, two ham and cheese, and this is caprese, so I guess it's like a, a cheese and tomato. I've just kind of, I thought I was going to sit on this tree, but I might just sit on the side of this hill and absolutely hook in. Paddy's across the road. Um, Caprese. That's just solid cheese and tomato. Like I thought the empanada and chili were good. And the alfajores were, were good as well. But it's almost like we're at. This is like my, my last, my first and last bakery send. I say it, but I don't know, like for health reasons, right? I could get absolutely cooked if I continue eating lunches like these. But it's like, it's rude not to. It's almost too cheap not to. I'm just looking at Patty, but it's like for the three desserts and six empanadas, what would it, it was maybe seven, six or seven US dollars. It's like, that's a ham and cheese, that's good, that's good. I'll go one more bite of this chicken and then I'll hook in. Oh. 
That's one of the best. Oi, hello. You can smell it, eh? They're all really good. I got a great mixture, and I can't wait for the for the desserts as well. We're living life, man. <clears throat> Driving down to this spot, I was trying to hide the smile. I don't know why I was trying to hide it, but I was just smiling too much. I've once been told I'm too happy for a man in Argentina. That's insane. How can't you be happy? These are like the best facturas, the best asado, mate. Life's good. This one's the best dulce de leche. Like I'm not becoming a food reviewer, but it's like 10 out of 10. Freak, facturas from Panaderias in Argentina, something else, eh? How good. Cheeky food coma, uh -huh. but the mate will get me through it. Had a couple of people see me off the highway and stuff as well. Ah, my heart with the reactions from passers-by. It's actually incredible. There was a part, like a point on the highway. Every second person that was passing was taking photos. It's like, <laughs> look at us, buddy. Look at us. The wind is an absolute madness. And it looks like it's the sea. There's full, like, white-capped waves there. Ooh, legend. Um, but nonetheless, right? It's just a lake with Patagonian winds. Argentina, you are spoiling us. How nice, Pati. How good, eh? What a time, man. What a time. 40 kilometers were built for these roads. How good. <laughs> Seeing these reactions and shit. You see her pointing it and waving. I just, you know, you're in Argentina when someone celebrated like this, like, um, that's like a hand signal for that they were doing a lot at the, during the World Cup and that. It's just, as, oh man, like a keep going. Well, how good. I'm smiling too much. She is happy. I'm happy. Look at that. That is Buddy Lochi, baby. Pati, ¿qué haces? Oh man. All right. We're about to go check out the Buddy Lochi city. See what that's all about. Hey, Pati. Maybe try some chocolate. <laughs> I low key expected it to be more like the, the town before, more of that like snow ski town vibe, like Vicha Angusto. If I'm saying that correct, but no, it's it's more it's more city, which is fair enough. It's it's it is a bigger city. Ah, oh, this is nice. Yo, check this out. I like that. These star buildings, no, it's a vibe. It's very much is a vibe, man. Very cool. Whole town, city built around lake and mountains. Gorgeous. To be honest, I don't know where the chocolates are. You know, I feel like we're gonna go through it and pass it and then I'm gonna realize, oh, I missed it. I know, it's not very clear. We're on Main Street, but it's almost like we're already heading out of the city. We, we got ourselves in an absolute mess. We've just come up from across the road at that Western Union. And Western Union is bank to be if you're a foreigner to get the, the correct exchange rate because you, if you don't, if you're just using your card and an ATM, and you, you're getting ripped off and it, it'll cost you double maybe triple what it should so i've been across the road watching patty defend the tuk-tuk as in she had like people just out the front here in front of this shop at, at a time like three or four people with their phones out and stuff like that Como esta, senor? Yeah. um and there was even one guy that was like touching the zip before and she was having a box so she was doing really good <laughs> good good gracias <laughs> como soy de australia Australia. Sí. Sí, viajando. 
¿De dónde venís? De um, empezamos en Bolivia. Ah, sí. Permiso. Claro, claro, pero ojo por sí. ella. Es muy bien. ¿Qué ¿Eh? para ti? Ah, una perra. Sí, ella ah. brava. Hola. <risa> No, 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 Yeah, so that's that's what I'm talking about. We're getting a lot of love from Argentina. So the issue is um, banks just closed the Saturday afternoon. There's a bit of wind going around, so I might jump in the tuk-tuk. Um, for some reason my my bank card that I I can use without a code wasn't letting wasn't having it. So to use another bank card that I've got money on, I need to get a I need to get a code from my mum's mobile phone because I'm traveling without a SIM. And mum's currently sleeping because it's about 2.30 a.m. Um, in Australia. So, completely forgot that it's a Saturday and that was a real Hail Mary attempt at the Western Union. Didn't go through. So now I've got about 20 USD to my name. We are very much back in Argentina where it was really nice and chilly just to tap, tap, tap away on my card. I thought I was doing Barry Lochi with with chocolates and and comfortability and maybe walking around the city, no. So I could essentially do a few nights in an actual designated camp spot, but I can't afford any more than camping. <laughs> what a day, what a day. <laughs> oh shoot, man. Uh, life on the road, it's something, eh? At the end of the day, at the time when I was in the bank, I was like, ah, oh, it's gonna be one of these ones again, where I'm traveling without, like cash, without money, without the ability to spend the money that I have. It's such a weird feeling. It's like a different type of poor. But I'm rich in the ability to be able to have experiences at a point where it seems like this is the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is I get to cook up in the woods some nice lentils and rice and veggies some canned goodness with the dog next to me in the Patagonia mountains with my tent set up it's actually an incredible time so we got fuel we got food mate we are not even complaining we get to go camp out in these ones those woodland mountain hills I don't know that's the police they're off for the day, you good? Are you farting? <laughs> when it goes kinda sideways, it ends up making good content and, and it's all entertaining for you guys at home, probably feed up on a couch and I'm freezing my ass off. But I'm smiling doing it, so I appreciate you guys tuning in, watching. Um, we're gonna send it. It's about to be a day. through the trees but I stress less when there's views like that out to my right <laughs> that's nice man that's that's nice we're out here we're living the dream 40 USD to my name I did the calculations wrong before so you can go you can go a decent way in 40 USD in Argentina nonetheless though I'm still like it would be nice to have a bit of cash in my pocket. Um, and Barilochi, I, it was saying like, yeah, 20 USD a night for a shared bedroom or 25 USD for a shared bedroom, like dormitory, right? So I'm like, all right, well, it's not including food or anything. So you might as well just go south and wild camp. Tito, eso no mal. ¿Vos sos influencer? Sí, más o menos. Entonces, Toma, así. auto servicio de mate. Auto y con ese es, es poniendo agua dentro y tomas así. No, en serio. <laughs> Me encanta. <laughs> For now, I'm, I'm a rookie. I'm just doing it with, with my hand. Yes, con, con el termo, nada más. Buenísimo. Pero este le echas agua acá adentro. Sí. Es, es mi, mi YouTube, Toma, sí. Oh, así te seguimos. Oh, great. Buenísimo, gracias. ¿Viste? Mira, echas agua ahí adentro. Sí. Entonces, pues abrochas así. Qué bien. A ver, que se ve el chorro no, filmo sí, y después sí. se lo subo. Perfecto. ¿Y puedo? ¿Toma? Sí, sí. está caliente. 
Buenísimo, gracias. ¿Sí? Me encanta. ¿Y qué yerba es? ¿Cuál? Eh, ¿Caragüino compraste ahora? Ah, Rosamonte. Ah, muy bien. Muy buena. Y es amargo. ¿sí? sí. Entonces bueno. yo le cebo a él, toma, Perfecto. me ceba y te hago. Perfecto, Así. buenísimo. Um, I'm going to speak a little bit. So I just rocked up. I need to chuck air in the tires. I haven't done it since Bolivia. And yeah, the machine wasn't working. It's my first time doing it in, in Argentina. And um, my amigo acá, uh, he was helping me put it in all the wheels. So we're, we're good to go. We'll get down the road and then we might find a better functioning machine because we, we didn't know how much we were really putting in. But at least we're aired up. So we weren't on the floor anymore. Gracias, amigos. Gracias. Un gusto. Un gusto. Cuídate. Ciao, ciao. And Paddy, the little cutie, has got all the street dogs. <laughs> they were kind of surrounding her. <laughs> what? I love gas stations that have like an epic view. Just check that out. No way, man. No way. No way. <laughs> Most scenic gas station in Argentina. I'm probably going to say that three or four times more on this trip south, but. Yeah, I don't know, something about it. That is that is a sight and a half. How cool. And just as the rain start this lovely Saturday afternoon we might have found the campsite. Wild camping starts now. Just gotta move this bad boy out of the way. Ugh. Shit. Frick you can see us from the roadside. So we've got to get out of here. And I saw another entrance, we'll do that. Well, that was full stress. I think I just wanted to get the heck out of here, but we mo we mashed this up, man. It's like, we bog out on any dirt more than that. So it's like we had a six point turn right there to try to get out. Finally, we got out, rubbing our belly underneath, like on the, on the dirt and everything. And, yeah, I was stressing, Patty was stressing, how are we looking? I just got a lot of, like, I've got a lot of exposed stuff down here and I'm just being a dick. Firstly, I don't know what I'm looking at when I'm looking under there. I'm looking for any clean breaks is what I'm looking for. Um, I couldn't see any. So I guess we're going down the road. Tori, you good thing I put you through some. Sorry, Patty. <laughs> Sorry, you two. That was mad stressful. Like, obviously, I'm on the side of the road. There's like cars passing and looking at this yellow thing trying to get out of this dirt. It's like, what, what was I doing in the dirt in the first place? Trying to find a wild camp in a potential national park. We're just so low to the ground and these cables are just exposed. This is like literally where we got blocked off trying to come this way. This is like a hundred meters from where I just was trying to wild camp. We should have come here in the first place. Issue is there's like a house on the other side of these trees on the other side of the road. And these trees aren't real too thick. So it's like we're pretty exposed. I don't know if anyone saw it. That's the houses. That's the highway, look. So you gotta be kinda of looking hard. We're gonna come this way. Yeah, this is our wild camp. We'll go tent here. Right where we are here is a bit of tent, so we don't drive too far. We just call it quits for the day, cause frick man, I'm like, I'm tired, eh? And I don't know. Sometimes I just try to send it. I forget what kind of vehicle we're in and then I send it too hard and then and halfway I get stressed and I, I get like just try to I just try to get us out quick and that has me being a bit more aggressive than I should be on the tuk-tuk and 
I don't know, we're still not. That'll probably be the noise for the rest of the, probably die off in the evening, but more or less. I just forget we've still got to, if we're not even at this way, I'm not even at our starting point yet. Hey, 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 Patty, come. It's like Karatera. So that's where we were, right? We are on the left side, that way. And I've just, when I've been passing, I've seen the guy at the house across from us. He's full taking a peek. So now it's no longer a wild camp. It's me like potentially in a legal spot and the neighbor knows. So I don't want to pee him off and I, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to like be, uh, yeah, I want a stealth camp in like, in tranquility without any worry. So this, <laughs> this house across from us is the reason we're going to leave and try to find a spot down the road. I've made an absolute mess of this situation. Oh man, but it's for a reason, so we live and we, we live and we learn. So just a minute down the road, we're gonna suss it out on foot before we just go send it in there. This behind us looks like the go that there's like a thicker spot. Coast is clear, let's hit it. Look at that. That's beautiful. Can barely see us. Barely. Barely see us. That'll be a gorgeous sight with those clouds clear. Birds going slightly. I'll let, I'll let you out, Paddy. I'll turn the car around so that we can just shoot out tomorrow morning, hopefully. Yeah, the other door's broken, so we, that's why we've got to position it kind of like this. Patty's going in and out of this side. Um, it's a shame after I've told her so much that if I say side, it means for her to stay on that side of the vehicle. And I think she was learning the right side is the safe side, because usually we drive on the right side, pull up on the right side. But now it's like I'm pulling more up on the left side of the road, um, on the other side, and then we're figuring it out. But. Hey, Patti, stay close, yeah? Good close. It's not perfect, but it'll do for the night. We fully don't get rain. We get, we get ice and we get snowflakes. It's just about to get out of the laptop and start being productive. Oh, relax, Ryan, you're good. You're fine. Don't stress, just enjoy the process. Well, this is the setup, ladies and gentlemen. You'll get to know me very quite well over the next five years. And a sign that I'm like kind of frustrated is when I'm settling for this. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, we've got just a nice beans veggie setup rice is pretty much done the gorgeous hum of the generators and i can see the road straight through there you can probably too that is like bitumen and the best i could even like be screwed to do is get the tent freaking bright yellow it's out of sight at least of the fence all the way down there so i can't see the fence until here so I'm in the clear of that and if somebody kind of comes off the road they kind of have to come quite a bit in before they see the corner of the tent. I'm really trying hard I'm just like not in the mood so that'll dry and it's kind of hiding the yellow from the roadside that's kind of my idea with it. Just want to have a good night's sleep. Paddy will sleep in the tuk-tuk just for for safety it's kind of necessary wild camping and we'll send it off tomorrow uh, but nonetheless she's just chilling so far got to set up cutie no oh, you're cold you're shivering why are you shivering come here yeah there you go princess there you go even over your ears how about that tucked away yeah 
Oof. I think the toughest thing is when, I don't know, it's just, I think loneliness personally right now is kicking a little bit. Um, miss my best mate back home. I think I'm just overdue to see the fam as well. I th I've been speaking them. I've been speaking about them more than I usually would, I guess, on the on the vids. But I think it's because this is kind of the time where we were gonna see each other, um, it, and they were gonna like potentially come and like try to get over here. But nonetheless, it's like. It is what it is. I think I just had a lot of expectations for Bariloche as well and like the fact that um, I'm not able to enjoy them simply because I couldn't access the finance that I do have. It's like, that's quite a complicated situation um, and quite a complicated feeling. It's kind of crazy. It's like I was living and eating like this out of necessity in Chile just because it's, it's an expensive country. And now that I'm back in like, um, the country where it's what's more affordable. I'm still living like this out of necessity. Yeah, we're just doing our best um, You're doing all right, Ryan. I, like don't overthink it my brother. Take care of yourself. Proud of you, bro What a day what a day legends